Hey guys and welcome back to my video. In this video I'll do it and I will spend X tutorial and I wanted to do it for so long and I'm finally doing it and uh, there is this room like I did with the game. Uh, it's a 10 minutes challenge. After 10 minutes we're gonna stop and resume another time and I'm gonna click start. So I'm gonna open a new layer in here I already collected. So we click on brush and go here with this kind of fluffy brush. And what we're gonna do is pick up the color and add it in so we got a smooth skin. What I call kind of foundation for for all this added so it's making the skin smooth and evenly a bit. So yeah. Make sure it's even. Oh come on, no sounds now. So let's go in here with the nose. And if you hear a noise by the way, it's my dog in the background. Lay next to me since I'm still in my bed. So yeah. So let's do this under eyes a bit to look it make it look fresher and like fix some issues on here. Then we go here with the color contouring. Fill it in. Be sure you pick up from every each side because not every side looks the same. Of course after light and yeah, so let's fix here and here. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're gonna like uh click the opacity down so like that and uh, yeah let's fix it here a bit there a bit what I'm gonna do is click filter Gaussian blur and just a tiny blur like this on a eight and then we're gonna put opacity down on a fifty nine but it's up to you it doesn't have to be this so now I click on brush, go in the first line, the last one, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the opacity here. Not the opacity, but the number. Put the brush down, pick up this color here, and let's see if it's good enough. It is. And we follow this face structure. And I didn't do anything when I was playing X. It's been probably a year since I got my Procreate and. Um, yeah, it's a challenge <laughs> for me to get back to Ibispaint, even though Ibispaint is an amazing app. It's free, it has cool features, and um, I love it. And <laughs> since I live next to the street, you will hear a lot of cars passing by. So, yeah, it's also annoying whenever I record hearing these cars. And yeah, so... If you ask yourself, I'm currently working on this on my Samsung Tab E tablet, and um, it's way easier to work with than with my phone. Usually, I work like on Procreate on my iPhone 6 S, and it's really small, so it's a little bit unusual to work on a bigger tablet because it's easier when it's bigger than with a small one, and on my Procreate on my phone and work with my fingers because it's hard to work with a pen on such a small phone. But here I have a pen that I got from Wish. It's just a regular smuggler pen, I would say. So, yeah, let's go here with the hands as well. Like that. It doesn't have to be really perfect, but just do you. I can like that. It's hard to make a nice one with just one stroke. So yeah, then here. Okay, let me pick it up a little better in here. And this line. It kind of looks better when this like whole avatar thing have a... This outline makes it kind of more like an added than without. So just follow this line. And this hand. So this is a picture of my avatar on IV of course. So yeah. Let me untap it. Let me know guys in the comments what program app do you use the most to edit and how often am you are editing. I'm real curious. So lately I start doing cartoons on my Procreate. Like I pick up some pictures from uh, Instagram models and I do a cartoon on them, I don't know, and I stopped doing iView like 
edits what I have missed to be honest so I will try to get back to that so I didn't like this part so I'm erasing it and then just filling it so then here yeah now we have that I'm gonna do the nose I'm gonna um, change the brush size a bit and not that much it's hard to adjust the size in here just here filling in uh, it's not looking good so keep repeating it's okay if you make mistakes like that then here for the nose a bit and we're not this color slider anyway so new layer now we're gonna do the eyeliner now we go black color then here a, like a three maybe and uh, it is the same brush it is and we're gonna do this fixing or perfecting this one like that and uh, draw a line from here yes it's looking good i would say so let's fill it in a bit in here and again let's start from there to here and you can also delete this delete this eyeliner that is already existing and draw a new one it's up to you i do that on procreate but not on ivy's paint i don't know why like on procreate i have these tabs for eyeliner so i never draw some so yeah and i must resize the brush once again to 2.5 2 and um, follow this uh lash line like that and i leave a little bit space in there because i'm going in with white so yeah because i like this white waterline i always like that so yeah now i'm open the new layer and uh, go in with white um and i'm using a separate layer so i can set up pass it down and yeah like that i kind of like it i don't know why it's making the eye bigger and it's looking cute somehow and but i'm not keeping it like that because it's harsh so i'm going with the opacity down a bit so new layer what i'm gonna do is we click on this brush and uh, with this one let me see one two three four five six and um use a white color let's we see the brush size um too big let's go on a five or so and what i do is like this line a little bit more better like from corner to corner to like highlight the eye make it brighter since i have picked this black color for the eye it's not the best but like it's both um uh, a gaussian blur tiny bit it's kind of hard to adjust Gaussian blur in here but like that yes I like it like that then we make a new layer of course and uh, then I'm going with the black color let's keep the size and everything and I do like this kind of giving a shadow over the eye to make it look more natural so like that you can later put opacity down, but I'm keeping it like that. It's looking cool. Then we make a new layer. And uh, we go with the first brush again. So white. And then you can add some, I don't know, kind of dots or whatever. Or you can add like a line. I'm going to go like that. Put a layer down, but it's too harsh. I like to do this line from like this part to here, like other side only. And here for this side, I'm adding like mostly a dot. So it's like that. Oh my god, cars, more cars. So like that. And I have mostly keep the opacity like it is. We have here already a line that we could follow as well to give it a little bit more light like this this side as well just a tiny line so now we make a new layer 
And what I also like to do is okay, can you disappear? Um click on this on a brown color. I'm gonna pick this color from here. So let me check my time because I have a feeling my time ran out, but I got no alarm. Oh, we have two seconds, so... Yes. <laughs> let me stop the timer. Okay, and uh, let me just add this line right here. I need this dark one. And, uh, yeah. What I always like to give this here, lines. And here, under the eye, recently I started adding this. I didn't do it before, but it looks way better with than without it, so... Yeah, I would say this is it for this video, guys. We're gonna resume tomorrow, and uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!